right behind me is River Sales Condo. I'm right now in District 19 and in today's we're going to look at why penthouses above 2,000 square feet are getting a rarity right now in today's supply. To prove that everything you say is true And if you let me, I keep loving you I just can't change my emotions And we're heading up to the duplex penthouse that's 2,400 square feet in nature to take a look and deep dive into this penthouse episode So follow Property and Brothers on this episode Let's go! Alright, so for today's home tour, we're going to do this in two segments. Now, the first part is to talk about why penthouses that are above 2,000 square feet in D19 are getting extreme in terms of rarity. Quick check right now is that at this point of filming, the amount of penthouses above 2,000 square feet and below the $3 million, 3, 4 betas upward, we're only talking about less than 20 listings in total. To have less than 20 listings that are above 2,000 square feet is definitely a sign in terms of demand right now in the current market for large size units. And we definitely need to talk about the four to five different types of penthouses first. Now, the first type of penthouse will belong to the single look kind of fashion. This type of penthouses, you have the roof terraces either on the left or right flank of the home. The second type of penthouse that are extremely common will be the duplex version with quite an equal and balanced kind of percentage in terms of its floor plate size, balanced over two different levels. Most of these type of penthouses, they have their living zoning right there on level one with all its bedrooms, living dining, plus kitchen. Level two will be a pure roof terrace space. Now, the third type of penthouse that has evolved over the years will be the triplex version which are also extremely rare and the fourth type will be the latest kind of penthouses that developers have been building in the past 5 to 10 years high ceiling kind of penthouses that populate either the living plus dining or maybe some of the bedrooms and that only allows you to build a 5 square meter loft space within the penthouse itself so nowadays the trend somehow is moving towards the kind of layout whereby duplexes and roof terraces are being removed and that makes this type of penthouse extremely rare because penthouses are considered landed in the sky whereby you get the chance to own one of the largest real estate right there at the top of the building. And within River Sales, this is a project that has TOP in 2016 developed by All Green and the land starts from the year 2011 and that makes this project one of the newer projects right here. This type of penthouse belongs to the fifth kind of penthouse whereby you get probably close to about 20% of the space right there belonging to its roof terrace space on level 2. <laughs> So if I were to take out a floor plan and do a quick analysis, you'll realize that at least 80% of the floor plate right here within this 2,400 square feet of duplex penthouse size belongs to level 1. And that gives you a lot more real estate right here on level 1 itself. If you were to head out with me to the balcony space, you'll notice that a lot of space right here are already done with beautiful shelters and of course zip tracks. And that creates even more real estate space within this 2,400 square feet. It links the living towards the dining. But if I were to own this penthouse, what I would do is that I'll flush it with beautiful lush artificial turf this can be like a nice little mini playground area of course you can put in invisible grills if you have young children at home once you have zip tracked down everything and you have pushed out the entire sliding panel door towards the corner you can actually blow all your aircon to fill out the entire space now though river sales has 920 units you realize that in terms of two beta penthouse there are only two of them there's two types of three plus study kind of penthouses and four beta penthouse and within the three beta spectrum what we notice that out of the 17 3 beta penthouse there's 5 very distinct types and this is the type of penthouse that I'm standing in right now you can technically keep this type of penthouses as a dual key version now one of the key rationale is because when you walk in through the main door what you get is this central foyer zone and uh, originally this central foyer zone was actually a glass out kind of design right here but as you can see after the full renovation that our clients have done now this has become a beautiful central core zone if you want to shift your dining space right here that is doable as well Later, we're going to talk more about how you can actually revamp this place into a 4 beta penthouse right here on level 1 as well. Right, so this particular location at River Seals is pretty interesting. So if you want to take out the site map, you'll notice that right across us, there's actually the row of condominiums as well as a couple of new built HDB apartments that's fronting towards Sungai Serangoon. And of course, that includes a couple of older projects like Rio Vista, Florida. Right across is also where Real Front Residences is being located. And if you look at the latest pricing of Real Front Residences, which is one of the newest projects in this particular condo enclave, you'll notice that in terms of PSF, the owners are already asking for about $1,000 
1,007 to 1,800 plus per square foot. And in order to get yourself one of the largest units at riverfront residences which belongs to the 4 beta cluster hall kind of concept, that kind of range is already asking for about $3.3 million in totality for 2,100 square feet kind of strata size which is ongoing at about 1,560 plus dollars per square foot. Now this penthouse that we're standing in right now in river sales at 2,400 square feet presenting itself as 3 beta and with a possibility to build a 4 bedroom making it into a 4 beta penthouse. This is asking for $2.6 million at $1,083 per square feet and later we're going to have a look at whether the quantum benchmark as well as the PSS level is of a reasonable entry level. So when we look at the rest of the condos right across us that belongs to Heron Bay as well as Boat House Residences, Kingsford Water Bay that will form the entire condo enclave that's fronting towards Sungai Serangoon and of course that leads you through the park connector towards Pongo and towards Coney Island. Now right across us is also another strip of enclave that belongs to the executive condominiums and that starts from the older project the Riverville towards Park Green, Osfield Residences as well as River Sound Residences. Now that entire of ECs are also performing well in terms of its upward appreciation over the past 10 to 15 years. And this brings us to River Sale, which is the only project that's located right tucked within this Pongo Park enclave. And why do we say that this is one of the very interesting highlights? Because this is of course the only condo that allows your kids to walk downwards towards Pongo Park without crossing any major road line. So it's technically safe for your kids to head down towards the side gate and that brings them directly towards the park connector. And if you were to look at a URA master plan, there's already no more housing plots right here because right across us, that is already a plot reserved for educational land plot. And of course, that would mean that in future, there might be a school right there. So when we look at all the land parcels that are very close to the Pongo Park region, we notice that there are no longer residential land plots available in terms of GRS land plots because the rest of the parcels are already taken out by the existing parkland residences, which was the DBSS, as well as two other major enclaves. They are already the newer type of HDB, MOP, clusters and these clusters in conjunction with Cape View will of course bring about your future demand for HDB upgraders that are aiming to buy private apartments within this particular enclave. Alright, let's have a look at the home. So the first time when I saw this layout, the first impression is that this is really distinct in nature because there are only 8 3 beta penthouse unit with this center foyer. How you want to utilize this space is really up to your imagination. Now this can be a central region. You can reinstate the full glass panel on the left and right flank as well as the center flank right here and create a garden that's within the living and dining space. For our owners, they want to create a livable space kind of concept. Now this can be a centralized dining space as well and if you were to do that, that would then free up an additional space right towards my left hand corner and you can then utilize this to be your fourth bedroom, which is also right tucked beside the master room space. Now take note, there's an additional powder room available towards that corner. There's a bonus roof terrace space right tucked towards the back. So this can be a complete room for a cinematic experience. Of course, if you have noticed, that's how our owners have designed it with the bow speakers that's filling the surround sound system right here. So right across me will be another two bedrooms with a Jack and Jill kind of concept. As you can see, the entire home has already been beautifully renovated. Now, something that surprises us is the maintenance fee is only at about $1,200 per quarter. And that's considered a huge plus point because most of the time to get this size, you're already aiming to six to $800 per month. But this is almost less Less than four hundred dollars per month. So say you have a three million dollars kind of total quantum budget that is going to be split between two names, and say you are planning to buy a three bedder for your own stay, as well as another two bedder for investment kind of purposes, and you want to keep both quantum within the $1.5 million kind of bandwidth. So instead of having that kind of approach whereby you can stay in one and rent out one, which is of course a very good and common approach, the other approach is to consider having a bigger space and lumping two names into one to enjoy the space within the next five to 10 years. And of course that depends on your current life stage, the age of your kids, and if you want to have a bigger space for your family to enjoy in, then this might be a nice perspective to think about. So what is going to happen is that in the next 10 years, your kids has already grown up and they're planning to move out. What you can do is to divide the central region into a common foyer and that will mean that you're going to have three different sets of keys and of course two of the doors will be self-created. You can technically rent out one portion and of course I would suggest to rent out 
the right hand side right here that comes already with two bedrooms, the Jack and Jill bath and of course the yard bath towards the kitchen area and you have that pre-built kitchen zoning create an additional wall line right here and keep this entire portion of the home including the duplex space to be your own home and you can still have a nicely two bedder right here for your retirement year so what is technically going to happen is that you can shift your dining space right outside towards the balcony area this can of course be like a little mini living zoning right here you can also have an additional outdoor living space right there towards the additional roof terrace upstairs will be where your outdoor living room will be and uh, judging by the rental rates a two bedder right here at river sales is already asking between four to four thousand five hundred dollars in terms of asking price in 10 years time of course i'm not sure how much that will be but just like a hypothetical example this $4,000 per month rental by renting out about 40% of a space right here is going to cover at least half of your monthly installment moving forward. So that can be a nice retirement plan without selling off this penthouse. And of course, that is an additional option that you can have. Now, meantime, we're going to look at the two bedrooms right here. The two bedrooms that's tucked towards this side of the home has the Jack and Jill bathroom kind of concept and that's pretty interesting because that makes both units having that kind of ensuite kind of feel and both rooms are great size in nature. Now something that is very clever about the Renault design is that there's a lot of storage being placed in. The width of the windows is great in terms of natural brightness coming is fantastic and in terms of direction it's almost a true north right here and all bedrooms faces towards the north direction including your roof terrace level, dedicated study zoning built-in bed right here with bottom storage you have a nice little cute stairway going up as well and of course pull outs right here i also noticed that in terms of its original wardrobe space is all tucked within the wall line and that's very clever our owners of course they have already done a lot of modification to the home and that of course includes Schneider switches and of course these are the ubic strips that you can plug and play all your three pin plug points this room is also being configured with a nice built-in single bed with a bottom bed as well dedicated study space with top top hung cabinets as well and this is also fronting towards north all rooms are really done with its own set of venison blinds and this room is ready for plug and play especially for families that don't want to spend too much time on renovating a home because nowadays any renovation that involves this kind of sizes above 2,000 square feet will take at least four to six months in terms of a total gut renovation so there are a lot of fine details that's being done to this home if you look at all the bedrooms that are being done with beautiful ceiling fans with ceiling lights living room being done with high cool fans flooring materials of course it came from developers with full on marble and bedrooms are being done with nice timber strips now this is the portion where currently is being designed as a dining space right tucked towards my front will be where the piano is being located there's of course a tv screen that's being mounted on this beautiful display if you want to tuck that into your fourth bedroom shift the dining space right towards the central foyer and then this can be your living space with a sofa set right here that's fronting towards the tv console space all you need to do is reposition this piano so a little bit of reorientation will make this penthouse in the beautiful 4 beta duplex version. Alternatively, you can also put an additional outdoor dining set right outside as well as another outdoor lounge set that will create an alfresco kind of feel. You can keep the sliding door panels open because you already have the zip track outside. This is a fully revamped dry kitchen. So it's being done with a beautiful quartz top. Of course, the Ubik system right here again for easy plug points. Now the original fridge space was actually here, but uh, because our owners want to fit in the huge fridge, that's the reason why they remodified the entire dry kitchen. So right now, you can plug in a full two door fridge here. DB box located at this panel. You have a sliding panel concept door, a three burner system. You have like microwave, you have a steam oven, you have a full on conventional oven. You also have this portion that's being designed with your dishwasher space and I would say that the yard is really huge because you have this like nice L corner here you have an add-on utility room right here we can be double as a helper's room if you don't really need the WC yard bath configure this into your washer come dryer space make this your laundry space because you have this nice beautiful portion here but the laundry space in this home has already been taken care of by the other roof terrace right outside your powder room and we're gonna hit that right now and this is almost like 
like a bonus roof terrace space because this is like a space that is almost about the same size as a nice small bedroom or a nice small study room. They have made this into like a laundry space. So if you notice, the washer cum dryer is right here. Alternatively, you can shift your laundry space right towards the other side, the original yard area. Or you can leave it at your roof terrace space. Keep this to be like an open area for gardening. Right beside me is the powder room. In terms of a state of condition, when you come for the physical viewing, there's nothing that you need to do. All you need to do is to do a fresh coat of paint. And the master room, I would say, is great in size. Now, notice the amount of walking space that we have. You have four nice panels here, a concealed TV console space, built-in master room bed. The beauty is that this system allows you to keep your linens within. The ensuite is fabulous in size. And this comes as a surprise because the original layout is that this is supposed to fit in the bathtub, but our owners wanted a bigger kind of uh, standing shower space. They are all fitted with the Hans Grohe system. What's interesting about this particular locale is that we're right about the equal distance towards two of the main shopping malls right here. Of course, one is Haogang Mall and that's where Haogang MRT is being located. The other one will be the up and coming Sengkang Grand Residences and right below it will be a mega mall as well that's integrated with the bus interchange as well as Bangkok MRT. Not forgetting, one of the most famous eateries right here is at Block 401 right directly across Pongo Park. Right across you, where Haogang Cape View is being located, you also have a nice mini more right there with eateries, F&B and shops as well. I'm standing in the roof terrace space right now and if you notice, this is a very nice balance because within this space, you still have that beautiful outdoor area here with artificial turf being done. Of course, you have a beautiful swing. This being done with composite vinyl within the sheltered zoning right here and really being done with a ceiling fan. And when I close out all the zip track right here, you're going to get your additional second living room. This has already been pre-designed to be like an all-in-one kind of living space. Firstly, you have that TV console that's already being done with this beautiful solid top. Huge mega sink here. Get in a BBQ pit, put it at a corner at the outdoor space right there. You also have your fridge zoning right here. And this can be a place for a lot of different kind of multiple usage. Something to note about this particular locale is that it's within a kilometre of North Vista Primary, CHIJ Nativity. And most importantly, if you want to travel, just by turning out of River Sales, that will hit you towards a cross junction that leads you directly into KPE. From Bangkok, all it takes is about 25 minutes to hit towards Dobi God. So if you have children coming back from town, this is also a fantastic and nice balanced locale within D19. And uh, one of the key rationales again, Coming back to the start point of this video is that penthouses are definitely dwindling in supply. Just have a look at some of the latest new launches that's being launched in 2022. We noticed that penthouses behave differently in terms of not just PSF level. The PSF used to be smaller for bigger units, but right now, PSF for penthouses tends to be higher for some of the new launches compared to the typical units. But of course, that's for some of the prime region PSF level for those luxury penthouses. But again, coming to an OCR region like this in D19 with a limit amount of large size units above 2,000 square feet. Owning this at 2,400 square feet is definitely something that you can hold on to for longevity reasons. When I put this through our PRB research mode analysis system, this came back at 68% power and that gives it an A great kind of ranking in terms of parents attraction factor. In terms of its exit audience, it came back with full five marks. So when we talk about exit audience, we need to bring on this effect. Now this effect is called the familiarity effect. There are three major enclaves right here in terms of its HDB upgrading audience. So first one will be Parkland Residences, that is the DBSS project. The second one will be HDB Cape View and that's right across us. Now Cape View has been awarded as one of the best design HDBs enclaves right there. And of course the next one will be the direct enclave right tucked beside River Seals. Now HDB Cape View has already reached its MOP. The cluster beside us is going to reach its MOP very soon. What is going to happen within this few enclaves is that they are all already seeing very healthy gains from their BTO prices. That also present owners at River Sales an opportunity in terms of its HDB upgrading audience. So in future, you will know that there's a younger audience right here that has seen gains from their HDB apartments or DBSS apartments. And the first region that they will consider for upgrading a prior property will definitely be within the same enclave that is right tucked beside the Pongo Park region. So that's one of the core reasons why in terms of more analysis, River Sales came back at five full marks in terms of its HDB upgrading 
exit audience. In the meantime, I think it's hit to head back downstairs. All right, so we've come to the end of this tour at this beautiful penthouse right here at River Sales. If you want to have a look at this physical unit, give a call to our listing managers, Kayleen as well as Nicole. Their numbers are right here down below. And of course, have a look at this video from our different social media channels at Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, as well as TikTok. And once again, my name is Melvin Lim, Proptilin Brothers. As always, happy to show you the place. And meantime, take care. Catch on. And of course, catch us on. And of course, and of course, and of course, ah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ah. But meantime, you really have to take this two bit. <laughs>